Hey there. Okay, so it's uh, Thursday, August 23rd, I think. Um, and as I mentioned in the last segment, I'm going to cut out this piece of the inner stiffener at the rear. Uh, so I've done that, and as expected, there's going to have to be a little bit of work done on flanges. So here along the curve of the rear valance, you can see this flange is going to have to be rebuilt. Um, and then down to here. And then on the trunk floor as well, some of this is going to have to be rebuilt. Um, this is got torn apart as I tried to pull those spot welds out. Um, this is a, a little bit odd looking up here, but I didn't want to cut in this way and try and keep this reference curve as long as I can. So the metal back here on this part of the, the floor, the trunk floor, is actually pretty good, as is the, the flange on the other side here. Um, don't have enough light to show you, but please take my word for it. So I think I'm going to try and clean this up a little bit, rebuild the flange all the way along here, and then cut out a piece in here. I did a trace of this on a piece of paper before I cut it out, so hopefully I can recreate a piece in metal that'll fit well. Anyway, right, that's the update. Okay, here's an update. Um, reminder, we're working on this back section on the inner stiffener, and I've got to rebuild the flanges on the, the rear valence and the bottom of the trunk floor. Um, so, a little bit of CAD, these couple of pieces here, and then some metal. So I've got a piece to go here to be tacked in, and, and another piece here to be tacked in, and then uh, we'll go on to the next step, whatever that is. Okay, there we go. The uh, flanges are welded in and ground down. Actually, pretty happy with the way that turned out. It looks pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can get light on it. it doesn't glare. Anyway, um, yeah. So I think what I'm going to do now is look at making the patch for this section across here. Uh, at least cutting it out roughly, and uh, still, still not exactly sure what I'm going to do here. I might clean up that line there, make that straight. The bottom of the floor of the trunk curves almost like that, but I can probably straighten up that line, make this easier to get a uh, patch in here, and then again, put that piece in. So I'll be back uh, when I've got an update. All right, so there's the uh, CAD template for the section. And then here's the roughly cut piece of metal. Still have some cleaning up and uh, such to do. I think I'll get out my matic tool and put a bit of an edge around here uh, to match on the original pressing and then start cleaning up these, making sure the curves fit nicely and the lines line up well. But uh, that's not too bad for a first fit. Okay, so I've got the patch cut, prepped, trimmed, settled, etc., etc., whatever words you want to use to describe the process. Um, primed the back side of it, and I'm going to start tacking it in. There's a few spots where I'll do the initial tacks, and then there's going to have to fuss a little bit with exactly how surfaces line up. So there's some spots that will have to be tacked first, like over here along this seam here, where the, I'm pointing with my pinky, trying to keep some light on this. Um, here in this very odd shape, 
um, put a couple of tacks along here to get this held in place. And then I'm going to probably tack right about here. And then be a little bit of work getting these surfaces to mate properly. And then I'll come back and do all of these plug welds um, once I've got that done. So that's where I'm going next. All right, here we go. Um, the patch at the bottom of the stiffener is now welded into place. Got all of the seams done. Got all of the spot welds or tack welds done. And I uh, just have to grind it back now. Um, you can see in some spots like this, for example, I've left a little bit of extra meat on the bone. So I can grind that back later to get the right shape. A uh, little bit of fussing to do again in here to tie these pieces together. That patch that I cut doesn't quite match up with the original, so just get the die grinder out and get that cleaned up. Um, otherwise, not too bad. Oh, clean up this hole and that hole, etc. I think that's a drain hole at the bottom of the the rear, uh, the rear wheel well. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's that. Uh, next thing I think I'm going to tackle is this little bit of rot in here. There's really, the way I'm looking at it right now, there's two different components. There's this part on the outer face of the inner wheel well, and then there's this part over here kind of on the curve. So I think what I'm going to do, see if I got a pointer here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out kind of like this, uh, coming down around here and down this way, put this patch in and then come back and do this bit over here afterwards. Um, a little bit easier, I think, to do this one in two pieces. And not everything I do is in one great big uh, patch like that. So do a couple of small patches. See you when I got something to show. You. Okay, so there's this last little bit at the back of the fender well on the bottom, uh, and so I've cut this out, this bit, and then kind of as a an exercise in, hmm, I wonder if I can do this. I started uh, beating on a piece of sheet metal. Um, I've got this anvil, well, it's not really an anvil, it's actually a piece of old railroad track, um, but might as well be an anvil. And so what I ended up with, just over here, got getting some primer, is this piece. Uh, and let's bring it over and see how it looks. Uh, well, of course, I knew how it looked before I started uh, recording, so um, so I'm going to tack that in there. I'll have to squeeze that edge in a little bit to get it to line up with the inside lip of the fender well. Um, and then I think just right down here I'm going to have to put in another bit of a squarish patch or something like that. Um, but anyway, this, this actually turned out pretty well. And again, all I used was uh, was a, uh, a hammer and the anvil. Just beat a little bit, try it, beat a bit more, try it again, etc, etc. So, pretty happy with how it turned out. We'll see in a second whether it fits after I try welding it. And there it is weld it in. Uh, of course, as always, I'm going to have to trim along here to get the right line on the inside, but that comes later. So for now, get the grinder out, clean up these welds, and after that I think I'm going to call it a day. Alright, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, so just been doing a little bit of cleaning up um, before I head in for the night, um, and 
just to satisfy myself that I'm on the right track, there's that patch panel that goes right there. And so really all I have to do for this section, a little bit more cleanup, and then this little patch here, and we're all good. So there we go. So that'll be tomorrow. I'm not sure how much video I've got on this thing, but I'll probably have a look in if there's enough to upload it tonight. Um, oh, by the way, uh, shout out of thanks to Chef Tash. Um, in my last video, I talked about the welding and grinding and welding and grinding tedium, and uh, Chef was kind enough to leave a comment to the effect that uh, that it's a fairly common affliction, and it's a good idea to go on to something else. So nice to know I took the right course of action. Anyway, uh, again, thanks to everybody who watches the channel, and uh, we'll see you again soon.